Hello and welcome to the new video. Today I will be working in my memento journal. I've got plenty of stuff that I brought from my recent trip to Barcelona. I've got some ephemera and some souvenirs and maps and stuff like that and I want to add them to my book. Hopefully finish it as well so we can do a flip through and start a new one. So I'll put you above my desk and let's do it. Okay, so here we are. As if if you remember, the last bits that I've done in my memento journal were um, mementos and ephemera from the Lake District, and then from Milan, where I went with my daughter as well for my birthday. And I've got this much left. I don't necessarily want to add more signatures in here because first there's no space, second this book is quite thick already and I think it's time to finish it off and start a new one. So I think I will try and work with what I have here, maybe even use this as well, um, strengthen it up with some extra piece of paper or cardboard and then yeah just work with what I have. So let's do this. So before we start, let's just look at some of the uh, stuff that I brought with me from Barcelona. Uh, these are, I think these are leaflets from uh, Palau de la Musica Catalana. And I just loved the covers, the flowers and the colors. I think uh, this is what drew me to those. And I picked them up. Not sure if there's a lot we can use from the inside, except maybe cutting out like these flowers and stuff for the future. Uh, I didn't actually listen to any concerts in there, but we just went inside uh, to see what it looks like and it was so beautiful and if you've not seen my vlog from Barcelona, I uh, leave the link in the description box below so you can have a look how beautiful this place is. Uh, so yeah, these are the few leaflets that I picked up in there. Um, so you, we can use some of that. I like this. Yeah, so that's from Palau de la Musica. This is, oh, the, these are the tickets actually from um, from the palace. Uh, it was only 80, uh, 18 euro to enter, which wasn't um, a lot in my opinion. Uh, London, uh, London's attractions are, tend to be very, very quite expensive. So it was a nice surprise. And then we have, uh, a couple of postcards that I picked up as well. Sagrada Familia, again, I've had so much impact on me and um, emotional and, um, I don't know, just very overwhelming to be there. So, yeah, I picked up those two as well uh, to add to my mementos. Uh, I've got a couple of coasters from uh, Black Lab and this was actually a place when me and my daughter went uh, for a couple of drinks they had a happy hour and they also brewed it on uh, beer so that was nice the lady that was serving us she gave me a couple of clean coasters and some stickers so that would be nice i also have barcelona map that we received in the hotel when we uh, checked in so we can use that I got my uh, and my daughter's uh, Hola Barcelona travel cards. These were the tickets that uh, were taking us from the airport to the city and they're valid on all uh, public transport. So they're quite good, they're valid for 72 hours. And uh, so they can go in definitely. And Metro map, that was a very difficult uh, map to get. I don't know why most of the metro stations didn't have any and eventually at the airport we've managed to grab one uh, on the way back so yeah that's something to put inside as well fond memories and these i think these postcards oh yeah sagrada familia okay i picked them up at sagrada familia um I don't know if I wanted to put them in my memento journal or 
actually I framed them and put them on the walls because I do love the colors the only thing that spoils it for me I know it's Sagrada Familia where I picked them up but this little logo here and um, what is it this one if I put it in a frame it's kind of gonna spoil it a little bit so I might put it inside my journal and we also have our wristbands from Harry Potter exhibition that they had in Barcelona which was quite good it wasn't as good as Harry Potter Studios in Watford um, as according to my daughter but it was good enough I've never been to the studio so it was good fun for me so I, I guess I can tuck them in as well so okay let's start
right so that's it so this is my uh, Barcelona mementos all in my uh, memento channel I actually uh, loved reusing those uh, scraps of paper uh, from the postcards because uh, I trimmed the postcards as you can see as you could see in a video and so that I can see the pink from underneath and then I decided I want to reuse them so let's give it a quick flip through Okay, so it was a little bit of a challenge because, like I said, I didn't want to add extra signatures or extra pieces of paper because I wanted to finish this journal. So I think in the end it turned out quite nice. I Again, I printed out some photos from Barcelona as well and I usually print them on the glossy um, the sticker paper which then, you know, I can just stick it in straight away. don't have to worry about using glue or glue sticks or glue tapes and stuff like that. And my map is here as well. So that's cool. My ticket, and as you can see, I reused those uh, scraps of uh, postcards that I trimmed before in here as well. That's from the happy hour from that pub. I actually didn't realize uh, this coaster had a reverse uh, page with this orange dog. So it was actually quite cool. I think the, uh, the colors go together really nicely. And yeah, these I trimmed because I wanted the pink uh, to show through um, in between those. And I think it looks quite cool. And again, see, I reused the strap, scrap of paper. And then that's um, that's the leaflet that I picked up in the music hall, Palau de la Musica. Mm. I think maybe I will add some white around this to make it a little bit more, uh, I'll do it later, to make it uh, stand out a little bit better um, because the background is quite dark still. And I've decided to print out the ticket from the harry potter exhibition as well because i had the wristbands but i didn't have the ticket printed printed it was all digital so you know I printed the ticket out again a picture of me and my daughter and here is the here again and to finish i have this post these couple of postcards here and here i actually because as you if, i don't know if you can remember the back cover didn't have a really nice background so I decided to stick that big Barcelona map and it will serve a purpose also as um, as a cover and I just need to mark the hotel that we stayed in it was um, let me just see if I can find it on a map <laughs> I don't think I will be able to because oh yo yo this is small was this and also I haven't got my glass Catalonia okay so we were here somewhere but we were on here we were staying in La, uh, Barcelona Universal Hotel near very close to La Rambla I think it was about 10 minute walk and it was literally opposite the metro station uh, parallel, parallel or something like that which was very very convenient uh, for us because we would just cross the road and we would get on the on the metro and where were we? We want the green line. So Catalonia, Pablo, España. Parallel. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, complete my travel uh, journal, travel junk journal, my mementos from Barcelona. Uh, keep a look out. Keep your eye out for the flip through of this big, massive junk journal. Oh, I'm so excited that it's finished now. Keep your eyes peeled for the flip through. It's coming very, very soon. For now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.